Okay, hello everyone. Nichols Retirement Empire. We have a tale to tell. About our furniture? About our furniture. We're on, we're on our way down to St. Mary's uh, to close on the house. And, you know, when you get a house, you have to have furniture. Do not go to rooms to go. Because we bought couch and love seat and all that stuff from rooms to go. And within about a year, it was like literally falling apart before the, we had it paid for. The recliner was. Yeah. And well, the other stuff started falling apart, yeah. especially the recliner. Um, I mean, it was like I, I was having to go in there and take wood and try to put, keep it together. And, I mean, it was crazy, you know. It was cheap, apparently. Horrible. Horrible. And that's before we even got, got it paid for. It was oh, yeah. Apart. Way before we got it paid for. The last time we got furniture before that, we got Lazy Boy. And that was the same furniture that we took down to the beach, to the trailer down there in Pensacola. And we have had that furniture forever. Since the kids were little. Since they were little kids. Since 2002. And that furniture is still sitting down there in that trailer. That girl that bought it is using that furniture. It's in perfect shape. The frame is still frame good. Frame still, I mean, it works great. The cushions are good. So, we decided, you know what? Lazy Boy has such a quality product, we need to go to Lazy Boy. So we went to Lazy Boy. And we went in there, and you know, they had some stuff that was on sale, 40% off. And so we picked out a love seat and a couch. And the love seat had like, what it was electric. Electric, yeah. Because it was electric. I have a hard time getting yeah. up and down out of a recliner. So she wanted the I mean, electric really one, can. and then the couch also reclined. Uh, but anyway, the couch and the love seat were like together, like what, forty three hundred dollars, something like that. The furniture is expensive now. I mean, if you get halfway decent furniture, you no, go. No, we only spent like thirty eight hundred dollars. Well, then how did it come out? To, how did it come out to five thousand dollars? Where did you get five thousand dollars? That's what we paid. I don't think so. One of them was I mean, nineteen hundred. The other one? No, it was fifteen forty nine. Okay, fifteen hundred. And the other? The other one was, was twenty three hundred. So add that together. Twenty three forty. It was five thousand and something dollars. It was well over five thousand dollars by the time you added it together. And while we were waiting, you know, kind of walking around the store, uh, Tammy saw a little bird that she liked. Actually, it was a big bird, and we bought that. And then there was a shelf that was just perfect for the kitchen. And not only was there one, but there were two. They were shaped in a particular way. I have not seen one like that since then or before then. And uh, we're like, you know what? Those would be perfect. And our kid, that, that's exactly what we need, exactly. And they were $179, which for a shelf, that's a good price. So they had stuff like on clearance, so we thought. It saves clearance. Yeah, and they had a big, it had a big tag on it that you could see from way off and said $179. That's what caught my eye because it was $179. And I yeah. thought, man, that is great. That's a good deal. And so, you know, we talked about it. And I said, well, let's just get both of them because we have a place for, but this is great. This is a fantastic, you know, this is perfectly what we need for our kitchen. And it even looks like some of the stuff that we have in the kitchen already, the way the shelving is and stuff. So we bought that. And the cool thing about Lazy Boy is because it is a national store we could get the store down in Jacksonville to ship it to St. Mary's. Right. So, perfect. Everything's great. Great. Then today, on the way, can you tell I'm upset? On the way, how could you be upset, Chris? Everything's perfect. And we get a phone call from a guy at Lazy Boy, and he said there had been a mistake that the shelves really were in two parts. 
there was a bottom part and a top part. And the shelf was tall. Well, how tall it was it? It was taller. It was pretty tall. It was taller than me. You know, it was a tall shelf. And he said the bottom part of the shelf was $179. But the top part of the shelf was $300. Was Three hundred and sixty something dollars. And we bought two. And it doesn't even stick by. It doesn't even stand by itself. It's not even a. It goes with that. It's crazy. So <laughs> I said okay. And the guy said that there was a tag on it behind the back. In the back. You couldn't see the other tag. And and, and that, that they were going to give us a deal. Yes. Instead of charging us three hundred and sixty nine dollars a piece yeah. for the top sections. They were gonna let us have them for so nice. about a hundred and seventy dollars a piece. We were still gonna have to pay almost four hundred dollars to keep our shelves. And I said, "What?" So I asked the guy. I said, "All right." I said, "Let's say I had bought that shelf and put it in my truck because we we didn't pick the stuff up. We're gonna have it delivered." I did take the bird. But that was all we I took. took. Bird, yeah. uh, what if we had put that in our truck and took it home? I said, would you call me up at my house and tell me that I owed you 300 and something more dollars because of a mistake that you made, that you rang up and I paid for, and that was the price, and then I took it home? He goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like going, you're full of crap. Nobody, if you bought something at a store and took it home, would call you and tell you that you paid the wrong price. And you, you know, I was like, you got to be kidding me. And uh, and I told him, I said, the top part of the shelf is useless without the bottom part. It's not worth anything. Why would they even price it? <laughs> it's, without the bottom part, the top part's no good. And he was just like, well, we can't, you know. The salesperson made a mistake and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, it's your and mistake. And I said, I thought they were on sale. He said, they are on sale. The original price for just the top part was over $700. Y'all, these are shelves. They're not and even I wood meant, shelves. What? But it was nice and heavy. It was I mean, not it, a $1,000 shelf. No. I can guarantee no. you that. No, it was a $179 shelf. Yes. And so, uh, we, <laughs> see, the guy's like, well, I mean, you know, we can, I'm like, I'll tell you what, why don't y'all just keep all of it? You can have it all. We're not buying any of it. And he's like, well, I hate that, that you're not going to, you know, because of a mistake that Nancy made, you know, or whatever. And I'm like, it's not because of the mistake she made. It's because you're trying to rip me off, you know. It's because you're wanting they to charge me. Us back. I couldn't believe the guy called me back. I, I uh, absolutely. So now we have zero furniture. That's okay. We, we got, got a, a bird. We got a $50 bird. But she's pretty, y'all. She's big and fat. She stands about that tall. Big and fat. Y'all will like. So now we got to get furniture. But that just gives me something else to shop for. I'm not I'm not upset. And I would have given a million dollars to have bought that shelf with cash and took it to my house. That would have been great. And see if that guy would have called me. I wish he would have called me. Have. I would have they said, come to my house. Furniture, so you come bought. to my house and take my shelves. Yeah. Yeah. So if you know any rich people, like super rich people, that have like really nice furniture. And they know, have it for sale in, in the they, St. Mary's area. Yeah. They just want to like unload it for like next to nothing. We just don't to want get big it, furniture. Just to get it out of their hair. We'll send you some pictures. We'll try to put some pictures of the furniture that we want for real cheap prices. That's no. really quality furniture. Because <laughs> you do get what you pay for with furniture. That's the truth. That was shady. But I think it was meant to be. That was shady. It's okay. Take a shelf and put a big price tag on it. And then have another secret price tag in the back. I don't think so. I wonder how much profit they make on $5,000 worth of furniture. I guess it was worth losing that to charge me three hundred more dollars for a shelf that was worth fifty dollars. We'll be going down here and staying at the Motel Six because they need a because they need a big 
because they leave the light on for you. Don't tell them where we're at. And it's cheap. People and be... it's nice. It's actually remodeled. And very nice. It was very nice. And it's cheap. So we don't recommend the Lazy Boy in Douglasville, in Douglasville Georgia. Georgia. That would be a big. But we do recommend Motel four Six. Four thumbs down. And two thumbs life. down from me. Two thumbs down for Tammy. And probably two thumbs down for that poor sales lady that probably got fired. We're sorry if you watch this video. But, or lost her commission. And, so that's six thumbs down for the Lazy Boy store in Douglasville, Georgia. And four thumbs up for the Motel 6 in Kingsland. Good price. Very nice. I hope the owner of Lazy Boy watches Nichols Retirement from the owner. So, after that video, then somebody else from Lazy Boy called us back after we canceled our order. Some guy at the regional office or whatever called and said, we want, you know, we, we want to make this right and we'll fix that uh, price on the, on the shelf so that, you know, you're not paying any extra. That was our fault and all that kind of stuff. And we're like, no, we want to cancel the order. And they still didn't cancel it. They waited. We had to leave a message. We didn't talk to him. We left a message because he called and we called back and said, no, we want to cancel it. And then we had to call back two days later because they still hadn't canceled it because they were, and then the salesman called us back. We received three calls back with them trying to get us to, you know, reconsider canceling the order. And we had to tell them three times, cancel, cancel our order, give us our money back. They kept dragging their feet and waiting around and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I knew, I told Tammy, I said, if there was somebody else talking to us besides this guy right here, if it was the owner of this store, there wouldn't have been any question. They would have sold us for the price they stated. So we went down to St. Mary's and bought all of our furniture from a local dealer down there, and he made him some money, and we didn't get our Lazy Boy. So, quite a story. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire.